Canva is a free graphic design platform that you could use on your computer or on your phone with the Canva app. With Canva, you could create social media posts for Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and more. You could also create presentation on this platform, any marketing material from poster and logo and flyer design for your business. And they recently even introduced video where you could use Canva to create videos from scratch. And Canva has ton of free templates. So if you don't have any graphic design skills, you could use templates that basically take care of a lot of the design for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get started with Canva step-by-step -step for creating your first graphic design. I'm gonna show you canva.com here that works on Windows and it works on Mac. You just go to canva.com. I also have a link in the description if you wanna just click that link below. And they do have a mobile app too that I covered in a different video. So after this video, if you want to use the mobile app, you could use it as well. And they work with the same account. So everything you do on your phone will show up here on the computer too. The first thing you wanna do is you want to sign up for a free account. They do have a paid account as well, but you could get started completely for free. So sign up and log in. Now, once you log into Canva, I recommend coming and clicking on templates on this page. Because if you don't have design skills, I always recommend starting with templates. There are thousands of free templates that you could choose from for just about anything else you want to use Canva for. So if you're creating a social media post or if you're creating a presentation, you could just start from one of these templates. In this case, I'm gonna click search and I'm gonna search for YouTube thumbnails. But again, use the one that you want and I'll show you how to customize it. Now, if you look over here, you see ton of different templates and you could use the filters if you want to narrow down your search. So I'll just choose simple here. So it's gonna show me simple YouTube templates here that I could choose. Now, as I hover over any one of them, you see it says it's free. Some are going to have a pay dollar sign and some are going to have a crown, which requires the paid subscription to Canva Pro. So there's three types of things you're going to see. If you just wanna start with the free one, go ahead and find one that is completely free. I'm gonna choose this free one here and all you have to do is click on it and you could go ahead and customize the template from this page, which is what I'll do here. And this is basically the Canva design platform. So I'll briefly show you a couple of things you need to know to get started and then I'll point out some things as we go along. But right here, this is basically your final design and you could change any of these elements. You see, as I go over them, they let you basically double click and change any of the elements. You could even press delete to delete anything you see. But if you look over here, this box is going to show you other templates. So if I wanted to change, I could just click on this one and it's gonna change the templates that I could customize from there. But I already chose that in my search, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one. But this is really, really handy. And the next thing I wanted to show you is on the left sidebar, these are all the different things you could do basically. So we're on the template page, so we're gonna see templates on this side. But if you go to the elements page, things like logos and shapes and graphics, they're all going to be over here. So if I decide to use any one of these, I could grab them and bring it into my project. I'm gonna press delete for now. Same thing with upload. Basically, you could upload your own pictures, which I'll show you how to do in a second. And then you could drag a picture of yourself here instead of the picture the template gives you. You also have options for text and text styling. And when you work with video, you could also have audio like background music. And you also have background, which in this case is a blue background, but you could choose like a red background and drag and drop it over here. You see how that changed things here. I'm gonna press this arrow to go back to undo the last setting. So let's get started with editing our template here. The very first thing I typically do is I usually change the text. So if you double click on any text that you see, it's going to let you change it. So I just typed in my text, I'm gonna double click in this one and I'm gonna type in my text in this box as well. Now with any box that has text on it, you could select the text here. So I'm gonna select the text and up here, you could actually change the font size and the font style. Typically, whatever item you choose here is going to change this top menu bar, which lets you adjust it in a number of ways. For text, for example, you have options like font and font size and font color, fine alignment, animating if you're making a video. I do have a complete how to use Canva to make a video tutorial as well that I'll link below if in the future you wanna make your own video. 
So after I've edited the existing text, then I could decide if I want even more text. So I could go to the text box and if I wanted to add more text, I could grab any of the text as a heading or any of these more fancy ones, bring them over here. And if they're really big like this, I could grab the corners and shrink it down. So I'll shrink this one down and I could put it over here. And I could actually go ahead and stretch this out a little bit if I wanted to and type in my own text easy and I'll double click this one, guide. So if I was showing how to start a YouTube channel, for example, and this was my thumbnail, this could be a good start. After I finish up my text, I look at the existing colors and decide if I want to change those. So if I go to the background tab here, I could basically use any solid color on top or any texture color or even search for any background and you could drag and drop those in different sections of your background. So in this case, maybe I want to do something like this where this picture is going to really stand out. Now let's say this X doesn't make sense. So I'm going to select that element and delete it. And now let's go to the elements tab and this YouTube logo I searched up before, but search up anything that's in Canva. You could drag it over here and then you could go ahead and put it wherever you want and then even resize it. So I'll make this small. I'll put it in this top corner and I'll grab my text and move it down a little bit. So it's not over the icon here. Now, sometimes you want to add a picture. So if you go to more, there's an option for photos. Let me just show you what you have here. These are the photos that come as part of Canva. Again, some are free, some require Canva Pro. But to add one, I'm going to delete this one. I'll select this one, press delete. To add your own, you could grab any from here. Again, anything you drag into Canva, you could resize by just grabbing the corner and placing it somewhere within your image like that. So this could be an image that I want to use. Sometimes you want to use a picture of yourself though. So how do you do that? The upload tab lets you bring in images that you have taken. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a picture of myself. And as soon as it's done uploading, I could grab it and bring it over here. As usual, I could resize it to make sure it fits in the corner and I'll select the other one and press delete. So I can make this a little bit bigger here like this. Now there's one benefit with the paid upgrade when you're using pictures. And that's the ability where you could edit your image here and remove the background. So the previous template picture where the girl here standing didn't have any background, like here there's a background behind me, I could actually remove it with the paid upgrade to Canva. Now that's one of the main reasons why people upgrade to Canva Pro because the free one does not let you remove a background. So I have a link to Canva Pro as well if you wanna upgrade in the description below. Now besides background remover, that also gives you ton more premium photos and videos and elements. So 100 million plus to choose from and you get a ton of other things like content planning and event storage. So in the future, you could decide to upgrade if you need any of that. So this is what it's gonna look like if I remove the background here and you get an image like that. And those are the main things that you would work with here when creating something from scratch. Again, I recommend using one of these templates so you're not doing all this on your own. Once you're happy with the result and what you see, you could just press download up here. And the most common file type for downloading is PNG and JPEG you might have heard of, but JPEG is also very common. If you're doing things for presentation, PDF, and if you're doing video, MP4 video. So those are your downloading option and I'll just press download here and I could just click on the download here. It's just downloaded it to my download folder on my computer and I could use it on YouTube here as an example. And the last thing I'll show you is if you go back to home here, you'll have this home icon where your previous designs are all going to show up over here. So anytime, if you wanted to make a change, you could jump in to something you previously created. You don't have to press save, it automatically saves it and you could make any adjustments to something that you previously made and they will always be here on the home tab. And as I mentioned, I do have a tutorial on how to make videos using Canva and I have another one with the mobile app as well that shows you exactly how to use it there. So watch those if you wanna dive a bit deeper into Canva. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.